reaching across the state. This is new video in from Fort Myers Beach. Just came in from an architecture firm over in that area. The entire area, as far as the eye can see there, you can see this, is inundated with, wa with water. This is that storm surge that we've been talking about all day long. Cars are submerged, homes are flooded, streets you cannot see them there. If you're familiar with the Fort Myers Beach area, this is off of Estero Boulevard, which is like a A1A here in Fort Lauderdale or on Ocean Drive in Miami Beach. So we're right next to the water and you can just see the inundation of flood water there and storm surge there in this particular area. I also know we have some video out of Sanibel. We know that the eye wall approached this area around Captiva not too long ago earlier in the afternoon and you can see the storm surge in the water and its impacts here in this video the street signs there this water is all the way up to the base of there and this situation is only going to get worse and these conditions are only going to deteriorate as this massive storm continues its march across southwest florida and the gulf and this is video out of collier county we've been watching this feed of course as conditions continue to deteriorate we could actually make out a little bit of 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 water and beach earlier today beyond those palm trees there. Now it's kind of hard to tell, but you can see a little bit of the wave action moving through there. But Collier County, Lee County, that entire area there, lots of the uh, first responders and, and, and emergency management personnel have been encouraging people to shelter in place since earlier in the day because roads are impassable. You cannot get rescue crews out. And so they're just making sure that people stay where they are and don't venture out in this storm because it being and it will continue to be very dangerous to do so. And the Marco Island Police Department tweeting out this video showing the water up to the docks there. And this was earlier today around noon. You can see just how much water we're talking about in this Marco Island area there. And take a look at this new video we got in from Naples. Showed this a little while ago. Fallen power line there just blown over by Hurricane Ian's winds sparking causing this fire and you can see the wind blowing the flames and the smoke there very dangerous conditions this is why folks should not be out and about because you never know if and when a power line will come down and what the impacts will be and thankfully this eventually extinguished on its own and we were sent this startling video we want to show you this and this is from a viewer Everglades City and you can see that this viewer says that this was from her home over in Chikolsky, that's just south of Everglades City, at nine this morning. Her driveway was not flooded, but just three hours later, this is how it looked. Conditions changing at the drop of a hat as this storm continues to move through our area.